Powerhouse, presented by Alliant Energy. It's one of the easiest ways to save energy and money in your home. That's right, Megan. Today we're going to show you how to install a programmable thermostat. By doing this, you can save 1% on your heating bills for every degree it's set back over an eight-hour period. That's significant. Now, when you're out shopping for a programmable thermostat, you'll notice several new features available. Many now have a furnace filter alarm built in, so it will blink to tell you when your furnace filter That's needs to be idea. changed. It is. Another great one is called armchair programming. And what happens is the thermostat body is actually removable from the wall base, so you can conveniently access it while you're relaxing in the easy chair. You'll also find models with large display screens that are much easier to read. This is a particularly nice feature for the visually impaired or the elderly. There are even voice activated models that can be changed and controlled by your voice. And there are models that will change over with daylight savings time. And you'll want to make sure you buy a thermostat that has a battery backup in case the power goes out. That's a good point. But the feature that you'll probably like the best is simply the convenience because you won't have to worry about forgetting to turn down the thermostat at night or when you leave the house. A good programmable thermostat will cost between $50 and $150 depending on those features that you want. All great information, Megan, so let's get started. All right. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is to turn off the power to the surrounding circuit and the circuit for the furnace and air conditioner at the service panel. Then as Megan has taken off the uh, top of the face plate, I'm going to unscrew it from the wall. Good. Now you'll want to take a minute to take a look and see what type of wires you have and how many wires are connected to your old thermostat. If there are thin wires coming directly out of the wall, then it has low voltage wires, which shouldn't present a shock hazard. But if the thermostat is wired to an electrical box, it's probably running off of a 120 volt current. So you don't want to replace that until you've talked to a licensed electrician. All right, the old thermostat should have a letter identifying each wire, and ours does. You can attach the label that's included with your new thermostat to each wire that corresponds to the letter on the old thermostat. And you can also use masking tape. Once you've marked the wires, disconnect the old thermostat. And it's extremely important not to let those wires fall back into the wall. So here's a little trick. You can wrap the wires around a pencil to keep them in place. You just go like this, then there's no way that they're going to go back into the wall. Now just a quick side note, if you're replacing an old mercury thermostat, it's important to dispose of it properly. You can't just throw it in the garbage because the mercury contained in the thermostat is hazardous. So you'll need to contact your local waste management authority to find out just how they want you to dispose of it. Now it's time to position the new thermostat base against the wall to make sure it will sit flush. You can check this with a level and be sure none of the wires are trapped behind it. Once you have the base straight, mark the center of the mounting plate screw holes. Remove the base and drill a 3 16 inch diameter hole at each screw location. Use a hammer to gently tap the plastic anchors into the holes. Then reposition the thermostat over the anchors. The next step is to thread the wires from the wall through the base of the new thermostat, then insert and tighten the mounting screws. Connect the wires to the screw terminals according to the directions, matching the labels to the letters on the terminals. Now you can turn the power back on, test the thermostat, and sit back and relax. Stay with us. We have more Powerhouse coming up.